Chapter Two, Al Bakara, the Cow. This Medinan chapter, which take its name from the story of the cow in verses sixty-seven to seventy-three, details the main concepts of the previous chapter, with emphasis on the qualities of the believers, disbelievers, and hypocrites. God's power to create and resurrect the enmity of Satan towards Adam and his descendants. As well as God's covenant with Moses and the children of Israel, several rulings are given in regards to marital relationships, bequest, jihad, fasting, pilgrimage, donations, debts, and interests. Unlike the next chapter, which focuses on the Christian perception of Jesus, this chapter dedicates a sizable portion to Jewish attitudes. And practices. So now, let's listen and learn. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. In the name of Allah, the Most Compassionate, Most Merciful. ألف لام ميم. ألف لام ميم. ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين. This is the book. There is no doubt about it. A guide for those mindful of Allah. الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون. Who believe in the unseen, establish prayer, and donate from what we have provided for them. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنْزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَبِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُوقِنُونَ And who believe in what has been revealed to you, O Prophet? And what was revealed before you, and have sure faith in the hereafter. أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون. It is they who are truly guided by their Lord, and it is they who will be successful. إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون. As for those who persist in disbelief, it is the same whether you warn them or not; they will never believe. ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم. وعلى أبصارهم غشاوة ولهم عذاب عظيم. Allah has sealed their hearts and their hearing, and their sight is covered. They will suffer a tremendous punishment. ومن الناس من يقول آمنا بالله وباليوم الآخر وما هم بمؤمنين. And there are some who say, "We believe in Allah and the Last Day," yet they are not true believers. يخادعون الله والذين آمنوا وما يخدعون إلا أنفسهم وما يشعرون. They seek to deceive Allah and the believers, yet they only deceive themselves, but they fail to perceive it. في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا ولهم عذاب أليم بما كانوا يكذبون. There is sickness in their hearts, and Allah only lets their sickness increase. They will suffer a painful punishment for their lies. وإذا قيل لهم لا تفسدوا في الأرض قالوا إنما نحن مصلحون. 
When they are told, Do not spread corruption in the land, they reply, We are only peacemakers. أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْمُفْسِدُونَ وَلَكِنْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ Indeed, it is they who are the corruptors, but they fail to perceive it. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ النَّاسُ قَالُوا أَنُؤْمِنُ كَمَا آمَنَ السُّفَهَاءُ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ السُّفَهَاءُ وَلَكِنْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And when they are told, Believe as others believe, they reply. Will we believe as the fools believe? Indeed, it is they who are fools, but they do not know. وَإِذَا لَقُوا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْتَهْزِئُونَ When they meet the believers, they say, We believe. But when alone with their evil associates, they say, We are definitely with you. We were only mocking. Allah يَسْتَهْزِئُ بِهِمْ وَيَمُدُّهُمْ فِي طُغْيَانِهِمْ يَعْمَهُونَ Allah will throw their mockery back at them, leaving them to continue wandering blindly in their defiance. أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ اشْتَرَوْا الضَّلَالَةَ بِالْهُدَى فَمَا رَبِحَتْ تِجَارَتُهُمْ وَمَا كَانُوا مُهْتَدِينَ They are the ones who trade guidance for misguidance. But this trade is profitless and they are not rightly guided. مثلهم كمثل الذي استوقد نارا فلما أضاءت ما حوله ذهب الله بنورهم وتركهم في ظلمات ذهب الله بنورهم وتركهم في ظلمات لا يبصرون. The example is that of someone who kindles a fire, but when it lights up all around them, Allah takes away their light, leaving them in complete darkness, unable to see. They are willfully deaf, dumb, and blind, so they will never return to the right path. أو كصيب من السماء فيه ظلمات ورعد وبرق يجعلون أصابعهم في آذانهم من الصواعق حذر الموت والله محيط بالكافرين. Or those who caught in a rainstorm from the sky with darkness, thunder and lightning, they press their fingers into their ears at the sound of every thunderclap for fear of death. And Allah encompasses the disbelievers by His might. يكاد البرق يخطف أبصارهم كلما أضاء لهم مشوا فيه وإذا أظلم عليهم قاموا ولو شاء الله لذهب بسمعهم وأبصارهم إن الله على كل شيء قدير It is as if the lightning were about to snatch away their sight. Whenever lightning strikes, they walk in its light. But when darkness covers them, they stand still. Had Allah will, He could have taken away their hearing and sight. Surely, Allah is most capable of everything. 
يا ايها الناس اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون O humanity worship your lord who created you and those before you so that you may become mindful of him الذي جعل لكم الارض فراشا والسماء بناء وانزل من السماء ماء فاخرج به فاخرج به من الثمرات رزقا لكم فلا تجعلوا لله اندادا وانتم تعلمون He is the one who has made the earth a place of settlement for you and the sky a canopy and sends down rain from the sky causing fruits to grow as a provision for you so Do not knowingly set up equals to Allah in worship. وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِّمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَأْتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِّن مِّثْلِهِ وَدَعُوا شُهَدَاءَكُمْ مِّن دُونِ اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ And if you are in doubt about what we have revealed to our servant, then produce a surah like it and call up your helpers other than Allah if what you say is true. فَإِن لَّمْ تَفْعَلُوا وَلَن تَفْعَلُوا فَاتَّقُوا النَّارَ الَّتِي وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةُ أُعِدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ But if you are unable to do so, And you will never be able to do so. Then fear the fire fueled with people and stones, which is prepared for the disbelievers. وَبَشِّرِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ كلما رزقوا منها من ثمرة رزقا قالوا هذا الذي رزقنا من قبل وأتوا به متشابها ولهم فيها أزواج مطهرة وهم فيها خالدون Give good news, O Prophet, to those who believe and do good. that they will have gardens under which rivers flow. Whenever provided with fruit, they will say, This is what we were given before. For they will be served fruits that look similar but taste different. They will have pure spouses and they will be there forever. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَسْتَحْيِي أَنْ يَضْرِبَ مَثَلًا مَا بَعُوضَةً فَمَا فَوْقَهَا فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَيَقُولُونَ مَاذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا مَثَلًا يُضِلُّ بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَيَهْدِي بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَمَا يُضِلُّ بِهِ إِلَّا الْفَاسِقِينَ Surely Allah does not shy away. from using the parable of a mosquito or what is even smaller. As for the believers, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. And as for the disbelievers, they argued, What does Allah mean by such a parable? Through this test, He leaves many to stray and guides many, and He leaves none to stray except the rebellious. الذين ينقضون عهد الله من بعد ميثاقه ويقطعون ما امر الله به ان يوقعوا 
الْمُوصَلَ وَيُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ Those who violate Allah's covenant after it has been affirmed break whatever ties Allah has ordered to be maintained and spread corruption in the land. It is they who are the true losers. كيف تكفرون بالله وكنتم أمواتا فأحياكم ثم يميتكم ثم يحييكم ثم إليه ترجعون. How can you deny Allah? You were lifeless and He gave you life. Then He will cause you to die and again bring you to life. And then to Him you will all be returned. هو الذي خلق لكم ما في الأرض جميعا ثم استوى إلى السماء فسواهن سبع سماوات وهو بكل شيء عليم. He is the one who created everything in the earth for you. Then he turned towards the heaven. forming it into seven heavens and he has perfect knowledge of all things sadaqallahul azim alhamdulillah we have come to the end of this episode i hope you had the opportunity to reflect and ponder on allah's revelations what has been the greatest takeaway for you listening to the recitations is it about allah knowing what is in the hearts of the hypocrites I am certain that Allah must have meant those hypocrites during our Prophet's time when he was trying to spread Islam in Mecca and Medina. But I also felt that these messages are meant to speak to us too. Do you agree? There are many hypocrites that live among us. Just look at our leaders and what's happening in Gaza. It is terrible to be a hypocrite because Allah will punish us for this flaw in our character. Sometimes I'm afraid too that I fall into being one. Astaghfirullah. Na'uzu billah. May God forbid that from ever happening to us. For me, one of the greatest takeaway that I get from this episode is God challenging anyone to create a surah just like the one in the Quran. Today, we have discovered many scientific and mathematical wonders of the Muslim holy book, the Quran. and the eloquence in which the Qur'an was put together and preserved. The Qur'an is unparalleled to any book known to men. Do you remember that verse where Allah described how you were created? From something lifeless, you came to life, and then you will return to Him. Our death is not the end. The first time I understood this, I cried and literally got out of my dark state of mind. Somehow, the Qur'an has the power to remind you of your purpose in life. For someone who is depressed, I find that the Qur'an is a powerful tool to calibrate your life, purpose, and make you understand why you are here on earth. Do share with me your thoughts on this episode and share it with people that you love. I hope this has been an enlightening podcast that puts a smile in your heart and it has benefited you. With knowledge of the Quran, whatever it is that you are going through in your life, remember that Allah loves you more than you know. Inshallah, see you in the next episode.